welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my latest Motivation Monday video. Happy Monday if you are watching this on a Monday, which you might not necessarily be. If you're new to my channel, I upload, well I upload three times a week, but every Monday I do a Motivation Monday video, which is usually based around cleaning or organising, something to get you motivated for the week ahead. All about creating that positive mindset, getting your mind on the right train to take you through the week. But this Motivation Monday is going to be slightly different because in this one I'm sitting down, I'm not running around the house like a headless chicken <laughs> cleaning or moving furniture or whatever. I am going to be talking you through my favorite cleaning products in this video. I get asked about this a lot. I get a lot of questions about cleaning products, what I like, what I use. I try to be really clear about it. Whenever I do a video, I try to show exactly what I'm using. But I thought why not do a specific video about my favorite bits. This is not to say that I don't use other products. I can't show you like every product in my cleaning cupboards because honestly we'd be here for a while. <coughs> but I just thought if I try to pick like no more than 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so no more than 10 products, the ones that I find I use the most like daily then then we'll go with that that's what I thought so that's what I'm gonna do so this video is all about my favorite cleaning products the ones that I just couldn't couldn't be without really and what I like to use them for also don't forget also don't forget to subscribe before you go I'm really really close to my 20k goal now at the time of filming this video so yeah don't forget to click subscribe before you go okay let's go for it guys I'm not gonna do this in a particular order I'm just gonna pick something up and chat. Okay, first thing I've picked up is my Microban 24 hour disinfectant spray. So, this is quite a new one to my cleaning cupboard. I got this when we had the most horrendous stomach bug. It went through our family, through like extended family, everyone got this awful stomach bug um, a couple of months ago. And since then I've been pretty vigilant, I mean I was pretty vigilant with cleaning and disinfecting than anyway but more so since then because uh, yeah, I just never ever want to go through that again and I thought I'm gonna start using a new disinfectant I did a little bit of research went into the shops and I picked up this so it's by Microban it's called 24 hour disinfectant spray the scent is called fresh scent and it is to be used on hard surfaces so it gives some examples on the back door handles bins toilets keys handrails anything hard so it's not to be used on your sofa or anything like that so it does what it says on the tin it will kill bacteria for up to 24 hours so i have this in my you know handheld cleaning basket that i take around the house and whenever i clean the toilets this is always the last thing i do so once i've cleaned the toilet i will always go over it with a quick spray of microband and actually i think it smells really really nice i love the scent and i just love the fact that i've got that reassurance there is absolutely zero germs on that toilet obviously as i said there are other areas you can use it too hard surfaces in the home but for me it is always one it's just the last thing i do to the toilet it's just part of my routine but you know i never thought to do um door handles before that's a good one isn't it so yeah that is my first one where did i get it because <laughs> i know someone's gonna ask i'm pretty sure i picked this up in b and i'd say 99 percent of my cleaning stuff comes from b and so i'm gonna assume i got this there but i'm not entirely sure i think so okay next up <laughs> That was not smooth, better. Okay, next up is this, Elbow Grease. So Elbow Grease is a brand that does a handful of different cleaning products. But this is the Elbow Grease Mold and Mildew Stain Remover. Let me tell you a little bit about this spray. If you are cleaning with this, open the windows, do it in a nice ventilated area. It smells strong. It is a very, very strong, intense cleaning product, not, not something I would use daily and something you need to be cautious of when using. So there's your disclaimer. So basically think of those like mold and mildew stains that are really, really hard to get rid of. The marks you get around like your um, plug hole in your sink or those drips you get down the back of the toilet anything like that those marks that you just cannot shift this will get rid of it this stuff is in 
incredible. So it says to be used on tiles, sinks, baths, toilets. So yeah, pretty much what I just said. And it also says here that we'll, it will work on tea and wine stains as well. So there you go. So when you spray it on, you basically have to leave it. You spray it on your problem area, your plug hole, whatever it might be. And then you need to walk away for about 15 minutes. <laughs> it says on here it's advisable to leave the windows open. 100% you will see why when you use it and it also says here on the front no need to scrub I I can see why they've said that because it looks it sounds really amazing doesn't it no need to scrub but I would say you you would want to give a light rub and scrub to the problem area as well like don't think that you're just going to spray walk away and the problem's done you will need to give it a little scrub as well but yeah super super cheap as well I think this was from home bargains I don't know, for like one or two pounds, really cheap. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. Next up, of course, we got the pink stuff. If you were a subscriber a few weeks ago, was it a Motivation Monday video? It might have been. I'll have to look at my playlist. But a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video about hacks and tips and special ways to use the pink stuff so if you want to know more about how to use the pink stuff go and look at that video on my channel but honestly this is like a magic cleaning what it says miracle cleaning paste so pretty much anything that's like tough to clean put the pink stuff on it and jobs are good and so i think in my video i did the other week i cleaned like the kettle um the microwave pvc so outdoor in the garden i cleaned the pvc i can't remember oh like um glass like the shower screens so much again i go into much more detail in my other videos so go and have a look at that if you want to know more but it's so cheap you get a huge tub for like a pound and yeah i highly recommend this is always in my cupboard okay next one polish this is the fabulosa multi-surface polish and i've gone through a few cans of these now and i keep going back to the same scent because this scent is by far my favorite actually in any fabulosa product i've also got the wipes to match the scent is blueberry sugar highly recommend so this is just a multi-surface polish so think of you mr sheen same thing but just smells a lot a lot nicer so i just love to do this on like shelving any sort of wooden surfaces like that anywhere where dust just loves to live and loves to gather i will have it with my fabulosa polish just a microfiber cloth just a little microfiber cloth and some polish and jobs are good in wood glass metal plastic it says you can use it on pretty much anything it also kills 99.9 percent .9 of um bacteria i don't think i'd ever noticed that little sticker before but there you go and of course like all fabulous products it's really 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 um reasonably priced i think it was like a pound so always in my basket while we're on the fabulosa train let's pick these up seeing as i just showed you anyway wipes anti-back wipes these are never ever not in my cleaning basket i use these the majority of the time specifically for the toilet i don't really like to use a cleaning cloth for like the um you know the particularly particular bacteria heavy parts of the toilet you know the inner bits i would rather use a wipe because i know i can just dispose of it it's just for me it seems more um hygienic i guess so that is most so most of the time that is why i will be using these it will be to clean the toilet but then there's other occasions as well like if the kids have made a mess on the dining table and i don't want to get out a spray and a cloth and everything i can just grab one of these also i love these ones not only because the scent is so so good blueberry sugar but you get 80 in a pack and i think it was like a pound for the pack and they're really big and strong the wipes i just i've used a lot of anti-bag wipes and these are these are my favorite okay something a bit different now floor cleaner so you guys if you are a subscriber if you've seen any cleaning videos you'll know that i love my spray mop i do have a more you know a proper proper mop as well if i'm like going in heavy giving the floors a good good seam to but my spray mop i just love and this is my favorite product to put inside of it so this is the flash traditional collection natural french soap floor cleaner so it is ready to use there are two ways you can use a flash floor cleaner you can dilute it but personally i just whack it in there clean 
and go straight on there. I've just double checked and it says the only time you should really, really make sure it's diluted is if you're using it on a painted or a varnished surface. So be warned of that. But I love to just put it in a spray mop, pour it in, ready to go. And the smell, French soap, it just always reminds me of like a really clean hotel. Once I've sprayed this down, I feel like I've walked into like a hotel lobby. That's the sort of vibes I get from this scent. So yeah, if you have a spray mop or just a normal mop and you're looking for a floor cleaner, this is always the one that's in my basket. Surface spray. Like I just said, I do have the anti back wipes, but I will only use those for like little spots or for the toilet. So if you're doing a large area, if I'm doing my kitchen surfaces, which I feel like I do 50,000 times a day, then you just need your surface cleanser. To be honest with you guys, and I was saying the same in my B&M haul that I filmed yesterday, I'm not that fussy when it comes to a surface cleaner. There are loads that I like. You'll see me using loads of different ones. I dabble from Flash to Astonish to, to different ones like Fabulosa. Honestly, not that fussy. I haven't found that one surface cleaner where I'm like, I'm never going elsewhere. I tend to, you know, use different ones and just buy the one that where the mood takes me on the day. So the one that I'm using at the moment is the Astonish anti back Surface Cleaner. Here it is here. I usually buy the rose water scent, but I've actually got this new one, which is pomegranate and raspberry. This is the surface cleaner I currently have in my basket, but there are loads of surface cleaners that I love, basically. When I'm cleaning the bathrooms though, I won't use your all purpose surface cleaner. I will use a specific bathroom cleaner. I think the one I've currently got, I didn't bring it out with me, but I think it's also Astonish and it's just the bathroom version. Um, I don't know why, why, like maybe there's, there's probably hardly any difference in it, but I just like to use the bathroom spray in the bathroom and the surface spray in the kitchen. If you know, you know. I have used these a lot on my Instagram, my YouTube, um, recently I absolutely love them now there's loads of different brands that make these these are obviously made by Brillo but what they are is they are soap filled pads so I'll open it up for you so you can see one just in case you've never seen one before here you go so they look like this you've got your little Brillo pad but if you see like the pink stuff that is soap so it's absolutely jam-packed full of soap like I said I've used these lots in videos in the past when I, I thoroughly like clean my oven and I use these and once you run them under the tap give them a good squeeze and start using them the soap just comes flooding out and obviously where they are scourers they are amazing at getting off dried on food, marks, that sort of thing. I think I also used them recently to clean the inside of my fridge. Yeah, like barbecues, sinks, hobs, um, pans. If there's any dried on marks on pans, these are great. They are just a really great product to have in the cupboard. Also super cheap. This was a pound and there is, I don't know how many are in there. One, two, three, four, five, ten. There's ten in there. So yeah, something, not something that you might use every day, but something that's definitely worth having in your cupboard. Okay, here is something that I definitely do use every day. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know because every morning when I make the beds, I use this. So this is the Fabulosa again, Fabulosa Room and Fabric Freshener. This is in the scent Fantabulosa, but there are lots of lovely, lovely scents in this. I think the one I have upstairs actually is a different scent. So basically this can be sprayed in a room or directly onto fabric. So what I do every morning when I make my beds is I get the one that I've got upstairs and I give a little spritz down and it makes the sheets smell like they've just come out of the wash. It smells so so good and the scent stays there all day again if i clean the sofas i'll give them a little spritz with this but also smaller rooms so when i finish cleaning the bathrooms or the toilet i will always spray this through the room before i finish it's sort of like a signal to me that the job is done this is the last thing that i do you know <laughs> and it also kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria as well as all the other fabulosa products obviously on the back it says suitable for most fabrics so make sure if you're using this on a fabric you haven't used it on before make sure you're really careful do a little test patch like these um our lovely sofas that we're sitting on now like whenever i use anything new near them i'll always go around the back do a little test patch first and just check it's okay before i start spraying it you know also important to say as it says on the back of this fabulosa product as well as 
on the back of this fabulosa product a lot of these disinfectant products like this are flammable so you must be ever, ever so careful when you're using them in certain situations obviously do not use them near any open flame if you've got a candle or something going and you spray it about just be really really vigilant when it comes to thinking about that because yeah these disinfectant products if you look on the back most of them will come with that flammable warning flammable warning sorry so just be really really mindful of that so the last things i just thought i'd show you obviously this is like a cleaning product um chat but i just thought i'd show you my favorite cloths that i like to use as well just to finish so i have linked these so many times before i'll link them again below today these are my fish scale cleaning cloths. I get these on Amazon and they are by far my favourite cloths to use. They're called fish scale cloths because I guess the like fish scale sort of pattern and texture on there. They, they are by far my favourite for all sorts of surfaces. Also particularly for chrome. They polish up the chrome really, really well. They never leave streaks. I just love these cloths. In fact, in fact I need some more to be honest. I might get myself another pack. They're my favourite sort of multi-surface cleaning cloths to use, kitchen, bathroom, whatevs. And my new favourite of mine is the sponge cleaning cloth. Now I was sent this by sponge, obviously, and basically it's an ult it looks weird now because it's dry, so when it's dry it goes like ultra stiff, but it's super, 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 super absorbent. So the minute it gets wet, obviously it stays wet so it can hold an insane amount of water within this cloth without dripping and I just love it for going over surfaces like I was cleaning the window ledges the other day and I got this really sopping wet and used it to sort of go over the surface and because it retains the water it's really really handy I also used this recently when I was doing my skirting boards again because I just used soapy water to do the skirting boards this was the perfect cloth to use so I think they sell these in B&M and yeah, highly recommend. So there you go guys, that was my favourite cleaning products video, just taking you through the products that I use most and the ones I would most highly recommend. Obviously always read the instructions on any cleaning product that you buy. I am not a cleaning expert, I am not by any means, I don't know everything about the products that I talk about, I'm not an expert on them, I'm not employed by them or anything like that, so always read the label before you use something and if you're using something on a new surface like I said always make sure to do a test patch but yeah that was my latest video my latest motivation Monday video I hope you enjoyed it guys don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you on my next one